Hi, I'm Aditya Thakur and in this lightning talk we'll look at Flutter, Lints and how can you use them to your advantage to make your projects better. We'll get started by what is linting and a linter, how can you use it and what are the recommended set of rules by the Google Flutter team and how can you migrate your existing projects to the recommended set of rules. Linting is the automated checking of your source code for programmatic and stylistic errors. This is done by a linter or a lint tool, which is basically a static code analyzer. Now the Google Flutter team recommends using the Flutter lints package. It has all the recommended lints for Flutter apps, packages and plugins to encourage good coding practices. All new Flutter projects created using the Flutter create command are already set up to use these recommended set of lints. So if you'll run Flutter create new app command and open uh, this newly created project in a code editor of your choice, for example, VS code, you would notice all new projects created using the flutter create command already come with flutter lints as a dev dependency. And also they have an analysis option .yaml file, which includes uh, these flutter lint, all the recommended lints for flutter apps packages to encourage these good practices. Projects created before that can be easily migrated. To migrate your old projects, the first step that you have to do is flutter pub add with the dev option flutter lints. This would add flutter lints as a dev dependency and after you do that, you can create a new file in the project directory Call this analysis underscore options dot YAML. After creating an analysis option dot YAML, uh, the first step that you have to do is include flutter dot YAML from the flutter lints package. After you save this, it might detect certain problems in your existing project that you might have to fix uh, before moving on. So a const keyword is missing here. I'll do that. Similarly, you can also customize the lint rules applied to this project here. So let us say you want everyone on your team to use only single quotes uh, when writing strings, unless uh, there is a single quote use, used in the string itself. So what you can do is you can type in linter and specify the rules which in our case would be to prefer single quotes underscore quotes and we can set this to true now if someone on your team uses a double quotes for strings that do not contain any single quotes uh, you'll get a warn warning you'll uh, get this here it would be a warning and it would tell you like only use double quotes if there is a string that contains single quote otherwise please prefer single quotes Using the same analysis option .yaml file, you can customize your static analysis. Let us say uh, you want to exclude certain files, uh, certain generated files, you can exclude them. Uh, you don't want static analysis to be done for certain files. You can type in analyzer, exclude and specify the files that you want to exclude. You can also change the severity of certain rules. Each analyzer error code or each lint rule has a default severity, but you can also change uh, the severity of individual rules. Uh, there are three modes uh, you can specify. One is info, one is warning and one is error. So for invalid assignment, it would give you a warning and for a missing return it would give you a complete error info would provide an informational message that does not co cause analysis to fail a warning doesn't cause analysis to fail unless uh, the analyzer is configured to treat warnings or errors and an error would cause the analysis to fail example an invalid assignment Going back to our previous example, uh, where you prefer only double quotes if there is a string containing single quotes, otherwise uh, have to use single quotes. What you can do is instead of having it as a warning, you can specify it as an error. Now, if you'll save this file, you'll see that this particular warning becomes an error and it is also shown in our main.dart file. Now, anyone from your team working on this project would have to ensure that strings that do not contain a single quote are only written in 
single quotes right and instead and if you want you can also exclude particular files if i'll come back to my yaml i can do something like exclude lib and specify main dot dot here if i will save this file this error should go away because this particular file was excluded from the analysis to check out all the different rules available to you there is this web page you can visit and it has all these rules mentioned here you can check them out and use them according to your will you can view all the supported lint rules and uh, explanation of each and there is also the documentation available for customizing your static analysis on the dart dot dev guide to language uh, under analysis option the flutter community plus plugins use the pedantic package which is now deprecated and i got to contribute to it to migrate it to the flutter lens and this talk was based on my experience so if we'll go a bit back in time the flutter community plus plugins were dependent on pedantic package for static analysis and i got to work on it and since uh, the packages already had an analysis option dot yaml the first step was adding the dev dependency which was flutter lens and also updating the analysis option to include to change this from pedantic to now flutter lens and exclude certain files that were generated uh, set up some rules for that also one of the things that i noticed uh, was uh, one of the rules of the flutter lens package was to avoid a uh, print in production and that is why we had to use uh, we had to import dart developer as developer and log all these changes instead of having print statements to do so i hope this helps you not only move your projects if any to the new set of recommended lint rules but also leverage them to your advantage when writing code thank you so much that is all from me